members, this is Dr. Rob Van Bergen, and I'm back with another Monday 10-minute training. This week, we're going to be talking about varicose veins uh, and specifically how to treat them using the Avasia, particularly by voted request. We're going to be looking at some of the advances that have been made using the Avasia Life Pinnacle in this department and how we might apply those to treat as well. But if you don't have the Pinnacle, don't worry, I'm going to talk about the old methods of doing it as well. So... What are varicose veins? Varicose veins are kind of twisted, enlarged veins. Um, if you have varicose veins, chances are you know you have them. Uh, really, any vein that is close to the surface can become uh, what is called varicose. And this essentially means that um, the, the veins are just getting bulgier and they're often easier to see. These most commonly impact the veins in the legs, uh, though it does impact other areas as well. And, and realistically, the it affects the legs so much because standing and walking uh, increase the pressure in the veins of the lower body. So varicose veins, uh, these are usually caused by weak vein walls as well as valves. And inside your veins, there's these, these tiny little one-way valves that open to let the blood uh, kind of move through. And then they close to prevent it flowing backwards. Sometimes the, the walls of the veins um, become stretched and they lose their elasticity as well. And this causes them to weaken. So because they're uh, stretched, they get bigger and they're more visible. Now, this can be a cosmetic concern for people, but it can also be um, something that causes pain and discomfort too. Um, so what you need to look out for symptomatically, again, if you have varicose veins, you probably know you do. Um, but as far as uh, symptoms of these go, uh, they can include things like an achy or heavy feeling in the legs, like a burning, throbbing, uh, muscle cramping, um, and swelling in the lower legs. Um, some people will experience worse pain after sitting or standing for a long time, um, or itching around one or more of the veins. And then the skin can change color as well. So you can get some discoloration around the, the veins themselves. And again, beyond pain, beyond discomfort, uh, these can be a huge, huge cosmetic complaint for people as well. So the typical answer from a microcurrent standpoint to varicose veins, to, to eliminating them, is to actually forget about the veins and treat the muscles instead. When we treat the muscles and, and strengthen slash repair them, uh, the, the appearance of the veins will begin to diminish. And with them, the, the good side of this too, right? Not just cosmetically, with them, the achy and the heavy feeling is going to leave as well. The worsened pain, um, the itching sensation, these will all begin to fade away. Now, uh, back in 1995, there was a study done by Siskin and Walker that showed that the frequency to regenerate muscle tissue was uh, 13.6 hertz. So we go for that if we have it. Additionally, um, and there's nothing special in the pinnacle for this, but 15.3 hertz, I'm going this off of memory, um, was shown to strengthen blood vessel walls. So the combination here is probably the best approach. Now in the pinnacle device, the best program for muscles is to use Santa Bio 14. This muscle program has been custom designed to essentially deal with inflammation as well as strengthening the blood vessel walls and most importantly, repairing and strengthening the muscle tissue. So these, this is going to be a very big, important part of this, uh, this program. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your device to Santa Bio 14. If you don't have the pinnacle, you're really the only other substitute for this is to use 7 to 12 hertz, which is available in the Evolution device or the, the ProSpot as well. Uh, this uh, will work on the strengthening of the muscles, uh, but it will not do the anti-inflammatory. It will not uh, work on the blood vessels specifically. So you end up lacking <clears throat> a little bit in that department. But what you're going to do is you're going to place the electrode on the skin and you're going to set the power to a comfortable level, which again, we do this by holding the plus button down, always holding it down, not pressing it one at a time, but holding it down until you can feel it. And you're doing this on the area um, near the varicose veins. After you have uh, established a comfortable power level, you're going to start painting over the area. Um, and I do think for this treatment, if you're using the device directly, 
For active treatment, the back of the device, the built-in electrode gives you more surface area to cover. That would be what I would recommend. So you wanna paint over the area there and you wanna make sure that you're using this for one to two cycles. So it's gonna be about six to 12 minutes. Um, and if you're using seven to 12 Hertz instead, you wanna spend about 10 to 15 minutes on the area. Um, one kind of tip that can shorten this treatment for people, because again, if you've got lots of varicose veins, you're gonna be doing a lot of painting over the area. Uh, one trick, especially if it's a leg or an arm, is to use a conductive arm sleeve or a conductive knee sleeve. Um, this can allow passive treatment of the area. So meaning you can slip on the sleeve and let it work. It'll be much less of an impedance to treat the area. But again, simply with the back of the device, you can make good progress there as well. Uh, as far as the strengthening of the blood vessel walls goes specifically, if you do happen to have a Pinnacle or even one of the older Pro Sport 3s, you can turn the device on and scroll up until you see AVA mode. AVA there is a, is a program uh, that allows you to build custom programs into your device. From there, you can hit the right arrow twice until you get to frequency. It says FREQ for frequency, 59.35. At that point, hold the down arrow, not the, not the power reduction button, until you get to uh, right around the 15... 0.3, so 15.30 hertz. This is the blood vessel wall strengthening program. So you can use this on the area of the varicose veins as well. It's a kind of a double whammy approach. I would only add this in for two to three minutes after you've completed your cycles of Santa Bio 14 um, or after you've done your seven to 12 hertz if you're using the Pro Sport. Um, realistically, you want to make sure you're getting that accurate treatment there. Moreover, come to think of it, if you're using the Pro Sport 3, um, rather than using 7 to 12 hertz, you could program in the same way I just did, um, AVA to be 13.6 hertz before, for that's for the muscles, before you go to 15.3. Uh, so it's pretty simple, right? Uh, this is it's not a complex protocol. It's not meant to be complicated. It's very easy. Um, and yeah, very effective. Uh, what we've seen over the years is a lot of people getting benefits from this. Um, you're probably going to need to do it for a week or two before you start to see the results. But as with everything with microcurrent, it always surprises me how quickly some people respond. It could be like a snap and they're just feeling the results and they're seeing the results there. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me today. That about wraps it up. Um, I do look forward to seeing everyone next week for another Monday 10-minute training. Have a great week, everyone. And as always, if there's anything we can do for you, just let us know. If you have any questions about this treatment, use the comments below. Take care. Bye-bye.